when we talk about AI in healthcare, beyond the excitement of what wonders AI can do for self-health management, we are still far from AI synchronizing with A, preventive medicine, and B, making most of healthcare. Of course, the purpose being empowering patients to engage with their health. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is increasingly being used in healthcare, where AI-based chatbot systems can act as automated conversational agents capable of promoting health, providing education, and potentially prompting behavior change. But what's most needed is exploring the motivation to use health chatbots and to predict how to make most of this incredible technology. In this video, I aim to explore how much people are willing to engage with AI-led health chatbots empowered enough to self-manage health. But before I get started, please hit that like button, click on that little notification bell so each time I upload a new video, YouTube can notify you. Also help us grow and subscribe to our channel called Monet Blockchain and AI. Till date, AI has been applied in medicine and various healthcare services such as diagnostic, imaging and genetic diagnosis, as well as clinical laboratory screening and health communications. These systems help physicians or doctors by providing relevant medical information so that diagnostic errors or preventive errors are reduced and alerts about any high-risk health outcomes. Digitalization of healthcare services in the UK that we are recently witnessing offers access to large pools of clinical data such as medical notes or electronic records, um, physical and laboratory examination or patient demographic and behavioral characteristics. What we are expecting by 2024 is that every patient in England would have digital access to primary care consultations with a reduced need for face-to-face -face outpatient visits. In addition, there is an ongoing transformation um, to provide fully digitalized acute uh, community and mental health services across all the locations. Expecting AI to play a fairly dominant role in healthcare here in England, uh, what AI systems can do is to utilize clinical data to enhance diagnostic accuracy and enable patients to offer patient-centered medical care whilst getting rid of variations across the country and empowering patients to manage their condition themselves. The role of chatbots as part of AI devices as a natural language processing system acting as a virtual conversational agent mimicking human interactions is really interesting to note. While this technology is still in its developmental phase, health chatbots could potentially um, increase access to health care, improve doctor, patient and clinic patient communication or help to manage the increasing demand for health services such as via remote testing or medication compliance monitoring or teleconsultations. So what exactly chatbots can do um, in healthcare? For starters, chatbots can provide instant responses to health-related inquiries from patients at the same time looking for um, specific patterns of symptoms in, a, in predicting a disease or an illness. Chatbots can be tailored to um, specific populations, health conditions or behaviours, but how easy it is to use health chatbots? This question remains unaddressed so far. Also, it still questions that whether or not it's possible to implement chatbots on a larger scale. Now, this is an issue that also needs to be addressed or at least explored for now. When it comes to mental health, chatbots are seen as playing developing, healing and preventative role play. For example, chatbots have been considered quite effective for cognitive behavioral therapy and 
positive psychology interactions in the non-clinical population. What I have observed so far is that there was a significant impact on well-being and stress with some patients even reporting a specific digital relationship with the chatbot. Nevertheless, chatbot systems are typically designed for specific functions, mainly to provide information. One of the main criticisms of chatbot, however, is that they are not capable of empathy, uh, notably to recognize users' emotional states and tailor responses reflecting these emotions. The lack of empathy may therefore compromise the engagement with health chatbots, keeping in mind that chatbots may not really understand the human emotions, hence missing out on key symptoms of, um, say, mental illness. The next question you may ask is, do humans understand chatbots as much as chatbots understand or are expected to understand humans? Most of us have heard about chatbots, um, notably in the context of social media or customer service. But what we are not sure is, as in how chatbots function technologically. Therefore, due to the limited experience with chatbots, most of us haven't either used chatbots for healthcare or we don't realize that we can use them for our healthcare management but most of us do appreciate chatbot systems available at home, such as Alexa or Google Home, when it comes to searching any sort of information. But understanding or using chatbots generally in life hilarity and understanding, which brings us back to our fundamental question for today, which is what keeps most of us um, from using chatbots in our healthcare system or service providing system. Most of us are hesitant about whether they would incorporate chatbots as part of our healthcare. We may be uncertain about the quality, the trustworthiness and accuracy of the health information given by chatbots, maybe because the sources um, working behind such services aren't that transparent. Then comes the technological complexity of chatbots and understanding it as an example. The first question that emerges in our minds would be how chatbots are able to correctly respond to my health query. We may also be uncertain about whether a chatbot could correctly identify symptoms of less common health conditions or diseases. It may also be inquested What's the potential for miscommunication between a chatbot and a patient who might not be able to precisely describe or explain their health issues or even name their symptoms to the chatbot? Therefore, the risk of harm if the information provided by a chatbot um, is inaccurate or inadequate continues to exist and, of course, weighted. At the moment, there is a view in general that this technology is um, premature in terms of providing a diagnosis as it was seen as unqualified. However, receiving general health advice may seem acceptable for us for now. In conclusion, as the application of AI chatbot services in healthcare is becoming more apparent, user motivation, uptake and engagement need to be evaluated to optimize the benefits from these technologies. At present, I believe most of us are receptive to health chatbots. Still, many of us may feel hesitant to use AI chatbots. What needs to be done is this. Intervention designers need to apply user-centered and theory-based approaches in order to address the patient's concerns and develop effective and ethical services that are capable of reducing the gap in health and well-being. If you have been following me in my previous videos, I have been constantly reporting and repeating that the issue of ethics keeps surfacing whenever it comes to AI. What I can see is that there's still a lot that needs to be done or researched 
and further developed to explore how health chatbots could be used in preventative medicine and healthcare utilization, specifically empowering the patients to engage with their health. If you liked this video, please thumbs it up, share it, and of course, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.